the seven signs of high triglycerides. When it comes to our health, there are so many things we worry about. Diabetes, blood pressure, heart disease, cholesterol. These triglycerides are a kind of fat which are not very commonly diagnosed, but they can lead to multiple problems if not checked properly. And triglycerides may go unnoticed for years and suddenly cause problems. So in today's video, I will take you through seven signs which can point towards high triglyceride levels. For diagnosing high triglycerides, getting a detailed lipid profile is very useful. But these clinical signs may help you detect it even before problems start. So the first sign is fatty deposits under your skin. So these deposits are often called as xanthomas or xanthalasmas and they are more of skin tags but they are filled with fat. And these can be noticed especially around the eyebrows. These are small yellowish lumps in the skin. While they don't cause pain themselves, they can be diagnosed very well by just looking at a person. So if you notice someone who has these yellow patches around their eyes, then make sure you get them tested for triglycerides. The second sign can be abdominal bloating or pain. Sometimes this can be a serious problem with triglycerides. High triglycerides often lead to fatty liver or pancreatitis. And if someone develops inflammation of their pancreas, they can end up with abdominal pain, bloating and indigestion. If the pancreatitis is very severe, then the pain may be much more severe and even cause vomiting. So if you have pain and vomiting, that can also point towards a high triglyceride level. The third sign is high blood pressure. Because high triglycerides make your blood vessels become more stiff, so the heart has to generate more pressure and this leads to a accelerated hypertension or high blood pressure. So even if you have high blood pressure, that may be an indirect evidence that your triglyceride levels are high. So a combination of high triglycerides with high blood pressure can be a major risk factor for heart problems. So get diagnosed and get yourself evaluated and then treated by a heart specialist. The fourth sign is something which is very common but often ignored and that is unexplained weight gain or inability to lose weight. Now there are a number of people who want to lose weight and are giving all their efforts but are unable to do so. And this could be linked to metabolic syndrome wherein high triglyceride is a component of metabolic syndrome. So metabolic syndrome is actually a cluster of problems which can lead to higher incidence of not just obesity, diabetes, but even heart attack and strokes. Metabolic syndrome includes number of things ranging from higher sugar levels, insulin resistance, a higher waist circumference and even high triglycerides. So when your triglyceride levels are elevated and you do exercise, but your body is unable to really utilize that fat for energy. It tends to utilize the sugars and not the fat. So this leads to an inability to lose weight, even though you are exercising well. Additionally, high triglycerides may also be responsible for causing insulin resistance, which in turn leads to obesity. The fifth sign is increased risk of heart diseases. Elevated triglycerides can lead to increased amount of atherosclerosis and narrowing or blockages of the arteries, not just of the heart, but the brain and legs as well. And this can give rise to chest pain, especially on walking or exertion. And it may sometimes lead to a sudden cardiac attack or a heart attack. The sixth sign, common but again less diagnosed, is just fatigue. So fatigue and low energy are very common problems found today and most of them may have some underlying metabolic cause as well. It is not just low in nutrition, but you may have actually had more amount of carbohydrates and these carbohydrates get converted into fat and this converted fat is called as triglyceride. So when your body is unable to use the fat for energy and uses only limited amount of sugar, Insulin resistance again worsens the problem. Your sugars are not used, so you are dependent on just some food intake. Your energy levels improve and then they again they drop. 
that is one of the hallmark signs of metabolic syndrome feeling tired and fatigued throughout the day the seventh sign is when you feel that there is some brain fog you have to make important decisions but you're not able to concentrate and focus in your work and brain fog can often be the reason that triglycerides are affecting your brain circulation even high triglyceride levels can lead to forms of dementia also in the long term so having known these signs you should also know what lifestyle changes can you make to reduce your triglyceride levels the first is eat a heart healthy diet in a heart healthy diet you have to cut down on your sugar and carbs cut down on your amount of unsaturated fats because only fats are not the reason heart attacks and heart problems develop carbs also have a very important role to play here the second important part is become active no matter what you are doing give 20 to 30 minutes of time for your body and make sure that you do some amount of physical activity that helps you burn amount of fat the third important thing would be to maintain a healthy weight If your BMI is high the chances of losing that weight by whatever means you do becomes less so if you have to maintain your weight in a healthy range that will also protect you from the side effects of triglycerides the fourth thing is to limit alcohol alcohol also leads to higher triglyceride levels and ends up damaging the liver where triglycerides are being stored so limiting or maybe stopping alcohol is another key part to keep your triglyceride levels under control and the fifth is to prioritize sleep a good quality sleep of 7 to 9 hours is essential to reset our body metabolism so make sure that you do sleep on time wake up on time and follow a proper hygienic sleep schedule so remember friends high triglycerides can often be a silent killer and another such silent problem affecting millions of people worldwide is pre-diabetes and this video will give you a lot of inputs about what exactly is pre-diabetes